Kyle, thanks. The American Red Cross recently announced a blood shortage crisis throughout the U.S. And people who count on regular blood transfusions, of course, are watching this closely. If it gets any worse, the Red Cross says treatments could be delayed. News Channel 5's Hannah McDonald has a look at the potential setbacks. And then there's an IV pole beside you. They put the chemo on like top of it, and then they there's like a line that goes in, connects to your tube, and it just goes in. Leukemia patient Brody Kramer knew what to expect at chemotherapy before the blood shortage. I wonder how bad it would get, like how I would feel and other people would feel. The 13-year-old's heart races and head pounds when his hemoglobin levels are low, a side effect of his chemo. His mom can't imagine fewer blood transfusions. Not only does he feel bad, he doesn't get to take his treatment. And not getting your treatment is a recipe for disaster when you're treating a, a highly formative blood cancer. The American Red Cross says it's facing the largest national blood shortage in a decade. The cooler at the Nashville Blood Bank says it all. I know that it's like very short. There's not a lot. And there's a lot of kids that need it, and I'm not the only one. At the hospital on any given day, there could be someone who needs blood more than Brody does, and that is a scary reality for his mother. Yeah, I always hope that, you know, that the, the children, and especially the children who need it for their chemo, um, will be selected, but there's emergencies where it's, it really is life-saving. They, they have to have it. 46 times a blood donation has helped Brody have a successful treatment. The family hopes she'll continue to help him make a full recovery. Stick with the appointment. You're doing a good thing. In Nashville, Hannah McDonald, News Channel 5.